only a hundred years ago, the night sky above our entire universe was thought to be a single galaxy. Los Angeles at that time, now ironically, was reputed for its clear skies. And only a mere 15 miles from downtown, high in the neighboring mountains, Edwin Hubble makes his first observations that the universe is not a single galaxy, but infinite galaxies like our own. Only six years later, he would also first discover here that the universe is expanding. And a mere six years after that, astronomer Fritz Zwicky would also discover dark matter here. These telescopes are considered some of the most important and meaningful scientific instruments of all time. It would have made a great segment. We didn't have the timer muddy to pull this off. So I'm up here alone with a camera and like no permission, hoping like a star scientist won't kick me out, which they haven't even acknowledged me or like even waved at me, which is weird because this camera is huge. Maybe I'm just used to like normal security guards and people in STEM are just like shy and don't like confrontation, but moving on. LA expanded the universe for the entire world and though is not thought about or regarded, it also expanded daily convenience for the entire world. So behind me is Chapman Market. Chapman Market in Koreatown was one of the first drive up markets in the world. Like if you've driven up to a market before, it basically came from right here. Super quick random note, that last market I showed, Super A Foods in Cypress Park, seems right now to be like the go-to market for filming. So I guess keep an eye out for it. Okay, so the very first drive up market slash strip mall opened in Glendale in 1924, and it was so popular, it kicked off a strip mall trend, which is still going today, but now it's just normal. And barely any of those 20s or 30s malls still exist. They're all gone. And that's what makes Chapman Market unique. Also, I've been passing by this like 1930s strip mall for years. What the f are these towers? What are they supposed to be? Like, are they Middle Eastern? Is it like a phallic birdhouse? Does someone go up there? Is that like where the liquor store cashier lives after his shift? Are they like a Mormon thing? Like one of those Mormon things when the rapture happens, they turn into a mech suit for Jesus? Yes, that's probably it. So you're probably thinking that this seems insignificant, but first you have to remember LA is way newer than any other Western city and so is our history. Like I literally just found out we have a historic trailer park, like whatever the hell that means. And second, there's probably a million drive up markets in the world and they all basically came from this building. Also, when they built these, strip malls weren't considered tacky yet, and they put like way too much beautiful craft into them. Filming this, I wanna show you obviously where the cars would go in and park, and the inside is very pretty. The thing is, the market is now a bunch of restaurants, and all the restaurants have their tents outside because of the coronavirus, and I can't really show you it, so I'm just gonna tell you it, and you should believe me. But there is one other notable and entirely intact strip mall from this era I can show you with my iPhone so I don't get kicked out by a non-stem security guard. This is Malaga Cove Plaza in Palos Verdes. It's the most beautiful strip mall I've ever been to. It's like if your Vons graduated from Harvard and it has a super hella kinky fountain. But these strip malls were just the early evolution of casual malls because seven years after Chapman Plaza will come a mall which will knock Angelino's dicks in the dirt. Here in Hollywood, it's Crossroads of the World. Crossroads of the World was the very first outdoor shopping mall. This is the very first one from 1936. It's still the predecessor to the modern strip mall. So basically what is behind us right now literally came from across the street. Originally there was a business office here of a notable LA gangster and what happened was he got shot to death in the business office and his wife out of like memorial decided to build the world's first outdoor shopping mall, which I don't really see the logic there. Other notable thing about this location, you'll notice that we are across the street from the location. 
and what happened was I asked them permission to film inside and they wanted $500. The lady I talked to is a millionaire and I told her we were doing a show about LA history. It's educational and free for anyone who's curious about the history of this great city of ours. And that we were literally doing this for no budget and she still said she wanted $500. And I said, oh, that's actually totally cool because I was just browsing YouTube and randomly came across a video called Crossroads of the World B-Roll uploaded by YouTube user Nostin Jorfs that actually had all the footage I needed and ripped it with his permission. Also, on a different and independent subject not pertaining to anything I said previously before this sentence, eat the rich, steal their locations. Seems really cute on the inside. Uh, center building, streamlined boat, and then has a bunch of different eclectic styles. Crossroads of the world, everybody. So going back to the beginning of this, sure, maybe LA originating the strip mall isn't as earth shattering as the Big Bang Theory. But I want you to ponder, what other cosmopolitan city in the world is so dynamic that it can expand mankind's place in the cosmos and make it so you don't have to do some like stupid walk to go pick up some like frosted flakes? It's like if Dubai gave us both penicillin and cargo pants. So next time you're on a beer run outside the 7-Eleven, maybe take a moment and look up and feel that trashy and profound Angelino both within you.